Hi, I'm Imogen Lamport from Inside Out Style. And I'm Jill Chivers from Shop Your Wardrobe. And we're doing a video today um, on a really interesting question about how to make monochromatic ensembles and outfits more interesting and more creative. The first thing I want to talk about is what is monochromatic. And this was really intriguing to me. So, you'll assume that this garment is monochromatic because we are told in the media black and white monochromatic it is not mm. it is achromatic right a meaning zero or no as in like asexual no sex right. achromatic achroma means color right so this is black and white and gray which means it is not containing any color it's right. achromatic yeah. mono means one right. chroma means color so therefore monochromatic means one color right so it's shades of one color now it right. can just be exactly the same color head to toe and i think that's what i thought of when we yes. first got this topic was okay so it's navy head to toe yes. it's you know cream head to toe it's white head to toe and it isn't it doesn't have to be right so it can just be shades of blue right shades of green shades of orange shades of whatever it might be shades of brown right you know they are all monochromatic color schemes yes so how do you make it more interesting and creative yeah yeah so there's different ways we can think about it now we can do something like jill has on with her duster right so this duster is monochromatic shades of brown yeah but it is a pattern mm. so you can have it in a pattern so shades of anything one color pattern that is going to give more interest to an otherwise one color scheme and if i was wearing a top that's contained in this and, and a bottom hopefully yeah. um then that would maintain that that monochromatic look but that the texture and interest has been added with well, with the, the print patent, the, the patterns added that interest that creative detail that yeah. you know the fun yeah um then so we can add pattern now the higher the contrast the pattern the more interesting it becomes right yeah so if you feel it's too dull maybe just trying a higher contrast pattern yeah that can add a bit more interest yeah. then of course there is texture yeah so imagine and this is what you know if you look at interior decorating they'll say mm. you know they'll have a room that's very you know it might be a bed and they'll have a very subdued and subtle it's all gray. it's all gray all gray mm, or it's mm. you know but they'll have a fluffy cushion yes. and a knitted cushion mm. and a textured throw mm. and you know a furry thing mm. and, mm. and then they'll have the smooth cotton yeah you know so what they've done is mm. they've layered up textures yeah and that's what makes it more interesting so again if on clothes yes. we could have you know texture and and different layers of mm. texture yeah. but in a similar color and fabric can do that too kind yes. of different weights of fabric so different. wearing say a sheer, sheer top with with a heavier you know ponty oh, pad yes. or something like yes. that so that you know having mm. the sheer over something or lace yeah. so lace has got texture yeah um you know or something furry nubbly tweedy yeah. all these elements just add interest add excitement to mm. what might otherwise feel like you know in, you know a rather dull color scheme if, if you go all you know monochromatic but it for many people monochromatic works really well and it's beautiful and it I can be very sophisticated i and think beautiful. it can be really elegant and and i often aspired um before i realized how terrible it was for me personally to to that look because yes. i do think it's really elegant but for me that one of the biggest keys for making monochromatic schemes more creative and interesting is accessories mm yes so adding and then that also adds a layer of texture yeah so right. the accessories add, mm. you know you've got the sheen mm. you've got different materials mm. you can have wood you can have pearls yeah. you can have polished stones you can have cut diamonds yeah they all behave in different ways they reflect light they add yeah. interest and detail and if you put them together you get that layering effect as well so yes. that depth so depending on where you like to wear your accessories and how many of them yes. i think that that's a really interesting way and in a way if you are wearing monochromatic where the colors are closer to one another it's almost like you've got this blank canvas onto which these pieces of art can be placed it doesn't have to be expensive jewelry in fact sometimes the the funkier costume stuff can be more interesting and, and to me i love that look i think it's highly creative and really interesting yeah. so don't limit yourself to feeling it's just one thing yeah do think about what is the expanse of it and how yeah. can you add that texture that interest that detail that creativity yeah with those pieces 
And I think the thing too is, until you play with, around with it, you won't really know where those boundaries are for you and what you really love to do. And, and I would say, just do something that feels out of your comfort zone and see how it feels and have a play with it. And uh, you'll start to stretch your style muscles that way.